Hi guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch doing one of my favorite jobs. I have probably sharpened uh, several hundred uh, chainsaws over the years. If you know anything about chainsaws, you know that you've got to keep them sharp. If you don't keep them sharp, they stop cutting well, they get hot, and pretty soon you've got a ruined chain. All the sharpening in the world won't bring it back. In many cases, often you can bring it back. So the important thing about chainsaws is to sharpen it often. So. In order to do that out in the field, really, probably the easiest way is to take a chainsaw file and then every once in a while simply stop, probably every time you gas up is about the right, and just very quickly, if you know you know what you're doing, right angle, right file, sharpen the chainsaw. You can actually buy a, a neat tool like this from Husqvarna that actually sharpens the saw. It's got a round file there, you can see it sticking out, a round file there, and it goes, and I've taken this chain out, you wouldn't do that, and you file properly. At the same time, there's a flat file in there as well that, that will, will uh, uh, grind off a little bit of the follower. I don't worry too much about that. I do keep it sharp out in the field. If I'm cutting any length of time, every time I gas up, I give it a quick touch up. However, after a lot of sharpenings and after a lot of work, I bring it into the shop and I sharpen it properly. Properly is the key word here. And let me explain what I mean by properly. If you know anything about chainsaws, I'm going to get you to zoom in here, Kevin. You know that the cutting tooth on a chainsaw is a hook. Let me see if I can find one here. Here's one right here. You see that? Can you zoom in? I'm going to hold this perfectly still, Kevin. I'm going to put the file on top of it right there. Can you see that from over there? Can you see that that is a hook? It's not a flat. It's not a sharp blade. So when you file, you file from this side, of course. When you file, there's a bit of a down angle, like so, and a bit of a cross angle. Anyway, you get the angle right, and what happens is the tooth retains the hook. It looks like this. Part of it sticks out. It looks like that. It's a hook. Now, an awful lot of the things you see on YouTube and other places tout fast chainsaw sharpening. I saw a device the other day, and it's not uncommon, I've seen it before. It's a plastic device that clamps on the end of the saw. Maybe you've seen them as well. Clamps on the end of the saw, and it's got stones in there, grindstones. And you start the saw, and you push this thing down against the log or the ground, and hold it with the saw running, and it grinds and supposedly sharpens the blade. It doesn't go to sharpen the blade because it's not making a hook. It's just grinding everything off. It can't possibly sharpen the hook that's in there. It's just grinding off some material. When you put the blade back on, or when you start the saw to cut again, it might feel like it's sharper, but you are ruining the blade. If you don't have that hook, it's not sharpened, pro sharpened properly. To get the hook, you have to have the right angle, two angles, angle on at, at, <laughs> this is hard to explain, angled across the blade, across the chain, and also tilted like this. has to be right. With one of these tools, it's a little easier. It's actually got markings on it to help you. But I found a tool a little while ago that does a great job. So for those major chain saw sharpenings, between large jobs, you've kept it touched up, but now you want to get it in really good shape, bring it back to new condition. This does a wonderful job. It's a really simple tool. It's made by Timberline. They're not inexpensive. I mean, you can buy a drill for four or five dollars. You can buy one of these tools for twenty-five dollars. This is going to cost you over a hundred bucks. But good chainsaw blades are thirty, forty, fifty dollars. If you can keep a chainsaw twice or three times as long a, chain, a, a blade, a chain, three or four times as long using this tool, eh, now it starts to make sense. How does it work? It's real simple. You've got your chainsaw mounted in a vise, and you take this tool. Take a look at this, Kevin. This is what's going to grind this tool. Can you see that it's round? It's just going to make that hook. It's going to keep the tooth at the right hook. And you simply put this into this device, and you find the right tooth right there. It locks it in place, and it grinds through. Now, this not only has the right angle up, it has the right angle across. All you have to do is stick it in and turn it. And with the proper setting on here, you pull it to the next tooth, put it in, and turn it. It locks it in place. There you go. You just turn it, sharp tooth. Go all the way around, mark one of them, so you know, go all the way around, do them all. And then you want to do the other side. <laughs> right here, you put it in here. You stick it in like so. There's the tooth right there. Lock it in place. 
three or four grinds, next three or four grinds. And what this is doing, keep in mind what it's doing, you've got the right angle to the chain and the right vertical angle or off vertical angle as well. It is restoring the hook that has to be there for that chain to saw properly. Just that simple. And the device pops off. Easiest thing in the world works on every chainsaw. When you buy one of these devices, <clears throat> you get a variety of bits in the little bag. There it is. Well made. I've been using this now for about three years. You adjust for the teeth. It comes with a half a dozen different <clears throat> or three or four different sized uh, um, files, cutters if you like. Just that simple. A little bag, off it goes. Now again, I was going to take this out in the field with me, but it's a little bit of a nuisance to set it up, and you don't really need to do that. Touch the saw up once in a while as you would normally. Every time you gas up, work for the day or several hours, and then when you bring the saw in and you want to do a major sharpening, get this out. And what it does, it's fast, but more importantly, it's accurate. It does it properly. You get that original hook-shaped cutting tooth back. Not just ground off. Anyway, that's what I do. It works really well for us. I'm not a professional log person, but I cut a lot of logs. I cut a lot of wood, and it sure seems to work well. Anyway, take a look at it and see if it helps you. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Got to go cut some more firewood. It's cold out there today. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.